Good morning you guys and welcome back to a new vlog on my channel or hi if you're new here I'm doing a bit of a week in my life video for you guys it might be a little bit shorter than a week we'll see today I just have kind of a lot of filming to do at home and some random admin work I'm gonna try to knock out everything before it gets too late it's Friday and I have some errands to run and I want to take my puppy to the park and then I have dinner with some friends later. Hopefully I'll get into some fun stuff in this vlog because New York City is pretty much back to normal. There's so much happening. It feels really alive. It's incredibly refreshing to step outside and it kind of feel like COVID's gone. I know it's not really gone. But most people in the city seem to be fully vaccinated so that's really exciting. Here's a look at my outfit today. I'm just wearing this Margiela button up and a Yoji vest on top with some brown trousers. And if I went outside, I'd wear my brown tabby boots, but I don't really wear shoes in my house. I'm gonna do some work, clean up a bit of my mess back here, and then I'm gonna share with you guys a small haul of some new pieces that I just got in. some pieces with you guys that I just got in from Farfetch. I have three new things to share with you and I'm so excited to be working with them on another video. If you guys aren't already familiar with Farfetch, they're an online marketplace that connects customers to thousands of the best brands, boutiques, and department stores around the world and they have brands ranging from emerging designers to heritage labels. I really love Farfetch because they make it super easy to shop from conscious and sustainable brands and they also have a pre-owned section on their website. I got two pieces from the pre-owned section that I'm super excited about. And then one of the items I have to share with you guys is from the Positively Conscious edit on their website. They curate items that are known to use materials widely recognized as conscious or their items that are rated well by Good On You. It's such a great way to find out about new brands that have a focus on producing items sustainably. They also have a fashion footprint tool that I'm gonna link down below. I think it's super worth taking a look at. It goes into the impact of different pieces ranging on their materials and whether you buy new or secondhand. It also gives introductions to some different certifications that are worth looking out for. It just puts things into really simple terms and beautiful graphics. It's super interactive as well. So I'll have a link down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. Another thing that Farfetch does to contribute to the circular economy is Farfetch Fix, which is powered by Restory. You can restore your favorite shoes, bags, or leather goods to their former glory by booking a restoration service through them. Farfetch is kindly offering a discount code to you guys. The code is Kaylee10YT. I'll have all of the info regarding the code in the description box below. But yeah, let's get into the pieces that I chose. The first is a swimsuit. Swimsuits are so tricky for me. I feel like I'm finally finding what looks good on my body and it's pretty much always a triangle, tie top, tie bottom. Anytime I try on something else, it's just not working for me. So this suit came from their Positively Conscious section and it's by Hunsa Chi. I've been wanting to get a suit from them for a while but I've been super hesitant because I believe they're all one size. This one is a one size suit. I have a larger chest and admittedly when I opened this package, I was like, there's no way but it actually works out so well. They have a super unique material. It's so stretchy. I really do believe this could fit such a wide range of sizes. It feels very comfortable as well. I've only tried it on. I haven't worn it to the beach yet, but I'm definitely going to be soon. This is a black glitter knit bikini. Like I said, I find that these halter tie triangle tops just work out better for me because they're so adjustable and i find tie bottoms to be the same way as well these are also quite stretchy they're not super cheeky but they're also not super full coverage and then the next two pieces are from their pre-owned section i got a skirt and a coat these are both more fall appropriate but I've definitely started wearing them on the days that it's a bit gloomier here. I love shopping pre-owned. You guys know this if you follow my channel. Most of my wardrobe is pre-owned. Pretty much all of my favorite pieces are as well. You can usually get a better price, more unique pieces. So this is a skirt that I've had my eye on in some sense for what feels like forever. It's a Junior for CDG skirt that's pleated, very schoolgirl-esque, has a bit of distressing. Super heavy, it's basically triple layered. Ties make it quite adjustable. I could wear it high-waisted or low on my hips, depending on the look that I'm going for. There's so many different ways to style this, and I think it's definitely gonna be a part 
in my everyday uniform. I love wearing it with my Jamal Mr. Tall combat boots. I'm gonna style some different looks for you guys with these pieces later on, but I just feel really good in that piece. And then I'm really a trench coat girl lately. I got this Balenciaga military inspired trench. We owned on Farfetch as well. This is amazing. I was a bit hesitant about it at first glance being too oversized, but it actually still has quite a feminine shape to it. You'll have to see when I try it on. It's really amazing and it's definitely going to be a go-to in cooler weather. So I'll have the Farfetch pre-owned section linked down below for you guys to browse. They have so many amazing pieces on there. And like I said earlier, I have a discount code for you guys. It's Kaylee10YT and I'll have all of the information about that linked down below. Also, if you want to do some extra shopping, I curated a selection of my favorite pieces on the Farfetch website. So that'll be in the description box as well. But now I'm going to show you guys some outfits. Here's a look at how I've chosen to style the Junior for Comme des Garçons skirt. I am going for a full black ensemble. It's kind of a go-to of mine, you guys know. Very schoolgirl goth-esque. I chose to wear my Ann Millimeter tall lace-up boots. I feel like these look so good under skirts. And then I'm wearing the Staatsblatt black drifter long sleeve tucked in with the trail offerings necklace and some silver hoops. I'll be sure to have the full look linked in the description box below. Okay, I actually wasn't planning on styling the Balenciaga coat this way. I just threw it on over the last outfit with the skirt and it looks so good. I would totally wear this on a fall winter day. I'm gonna show you guys another outfit as well that looks a bit more casual, but this is a super military inspired look. I have the trench really loosely tied. I think this is how I would regularly wear it. It has quite a lot of shape to it, so it could end up being a really feminine piece, but there's also so many ways to style it super masculine. It's really versatile in that way. Wow, with the boots. So, so cool. Now we're going for a very different look. This one's quite a bit more masculine. I really like it. We have a lot of brown and gray tones happening. They're all slightly different, but they all mix so well together. So I'm wearing the trench open. As you can see, it's quite big. I love the paneling at the bottom, especially with all of the other tones happening in this outfit. It looks amazing. I feel like it really brings out the slight variations and fabric and texture and wear as this piece is quite a bit older. I'm wearing it with a classic white button down. This one's a bit of a sloppier version of one. It's Margiela. I also got it secondhand. The same hoop earrings. And then I added a Marcel bag. This looks so beautiful with the coat. I'm wearing it on the longer strap. I don't think this exact bag is available to find, but I'll link their brand on Farfetch because I love their bags so much and they're at definitely a lower designer price point. And then I'm wearing these brown wide leg trousers with my chocolate brown classic tabby boots. These are also from Farfetch. You guys might remember them from a previous video I worked with them on. But wow, what a look we have happening here. Now I'm so excited for it to get colder so I can wear this out. Maybe we'll get a bit of a cold spurt of weather. Here's a look at the bikini on for you guys. So yeah, it's just a classic halter neck top. And like I said, so stretchy. I feel like it covered like this much before I stretched it out. And the typical tie side bottoms. The glitter is a bit more subtle on, but I'm sure in the sunlight it really shows through. But I think it's super flattering and cute. We're in the car as you can see. I've been working all morning. I'm about to take Les to the park though before it rains a lot the next couple days. He's not a big fan of the rain. And we need to wear him out. Hi 
Hey guys, it's the next day now. It's Saturday morning. I woke up not feeling super hot from dinner last night. My stomach is definitely a little bit messed up, but I have an appointment for a facial. I haven't had a facial in so long. I think I've pulled myself together enough to go. Quite a short appointment, so it should be fine, but it's in Manhattan and I just realized the trains are really messed up this morning, so it's gonna take me a while to get there. I could drive, but I feel like parking is just gonna be bad. But I'm wearing one of our Stadtsblatt black oversized tees tucked in. I have a size small. And then I'm wearing this belt that I got from Farfetch. I'll link it down below with some black trousers and my last conspiracy sandals. Day. I kind of accidentally took the day off vlogging yesterday. My phone was dead for most of the day. And I was actually out all day. I went to the beach with a bunch of friends and also went to a couple of my friends' birthday party. I'm so tired. I'm still getting used to like getting back into actual social interaction, you know, as I'm sure a lot of us are. Another outfit of the day. There's so many outfits in this video. It is scorching hot outside today. I am about to go on a drive with puppy pick up my boyfriend from work and we're gonna go to a dog park i think and then i think we'll just be home for the rest of the evening so i am wearing this blue and mullemeister sheer tank this black d-ring belt some gray trousers and these soothies sandals for something comfy Juice generation. A little melty at this point. I really need to get some groceries. I'm pretty much all out. I used to always get their hail to kale juice. I don't think they have it anymore, but this one seems similar. And their peanut butter acai bowl, which I better eat ASAP before it gets even more melty. Now I'm gonna do a little get ready with me with you guys and just chat. You might hear Laszlo playing or the AC in the back of my apartment. I can't really control either of those things, but I turned it off in here. So I hope the sound's not too bad for you guys. I haven't really talked to you guys much at all this morning. I know we went on the walk and then I picked up breakfast on the way home. And then I tried to do a workout and I feel like I was just pushing down emotion all morning and it just was not working for me. Had a bit of a breakdown. It was still pretty early in the day. I think it was like before 9 a.m. and I've been up since 6 and I just really needed to self-soothe so I put myself back to bed. Sometimes I think that's the best thing to do. I cuddled with my dog, worked from bed, and now I'm feeling a bit better and I decided I should get ready today. This won't really be a tutorial. You guys know I use most of the same products. I don't really switch it up. Yeah, I thought I would just chat with you. So I was supposed to have a video go up before this one about like turning a bad day around. So for things like today, but there was a delay with the brand and now I think it's gonna go up after this one, maybe the next video or the video after that. I don't know, I need to switch my schedule around. But I was really having one of those days this morning. The skin on my face really gets so red. It's also a bit sunburned right now and I got a chemical peel done on Saturday. I definitely should not have gone to the beach after that. I wore a really heavy SPF, but I think I still got a little bit sunburned. But I'm gonna use the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. This is the best for me for covering up redness. It's such a strange product. I think I've mentioned it before, 
When I first got it, I hated it. And <laughs> now I use it a lot. I go back and forth between some different tinted moisturizers. Um, like I really like the Well People one or the Chantical one. But this product only looks good when your skin is kind of good. Your skin can't be dry at all or it will look really gross and kind of like pilly but otherwise it's amazing i haven't tried any of their other products though i know they're really popular also you guys another thing that i've been thinking about lately is that all of my dog's treats and bully sticks especially smell so awful i think i really would have struggled with this when i was actually vegan i'm still vegetarian i obviously deal with meat for him every day multiple times a day it's really been a challenge for me he always wants to have everything right on top of me because he's such a cuddly boy i've really had to swallow a lot of my own ego having him and just dealing with his food my skin has been so red from the peel but it also feels like baby skin i never actually had one professionally done i'd only used like at home products which are definitely not as strong and it was really nice i want to prioritize getting a facial done every once in a while i'm definitely not going to do monthly ones they're just quite expensive and i feel like they always get sucked into or talked into doing additional services and it just really adds on to the price so i don't think it will necessarily be a regular part of my routine but she definitely got a lot of stuff out of my skin yeah, I have a bunch of errands to run for the rest of the day. So I'll definitely catch up with you guys if I get into something interesting. But one other thing that I wanted to ask you guys really quick is if you have any requests for topics that you guys want me to cover in an upcoming vlog. I'd love to hear from you because sometimes I feel a little bit stumped. For now, I need to get to shipping some orders for my business. But I think we're getting some new samples for pieces that we're working on in the mail today. They've been quite delayed at the dye house. So... I'm hoping they're gonna be all good, but I probably won't be sharing them with you guys in this video because they're not done by any means. But it's pretty much always a fun day to get new samples in, unless they're really bad, then it's not so fun. But I'm gonna get to it and catch up with you guys soon. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you super soon with a new vlog. Bye!